everything seem plain and boring to you? We know a few easy ways of how to change it. Giant volcanoes are coming first in our list. You'd better make them outside. We've prepared these flasks. Mix dishwashing soap with 30% hydrogen peroxide. Add several drops of food coloring. Pour active dry yeast and shake. Here it is, an expected reaction. It's an awesome volcano. Be careful not to repeat it at home. Let's make another mixture. Pour the washing soap into the hydrogen peroxide again. Add a few drops of the coloring and potassium iodide in the form of eye drops. Shake well. Step aside and wait for reaction. We've got a giant foam volcano. You can continue coloring it. There will be a lot of eye-catching foam. Sand is normally used to stop the fire. We'll make it burn. Do you think it's possible? Place sand in a bowl. Pour on some gasoline. Take a spoonful of soda and two spoons of sugar. Sprinkle on the sand. Set on fire. The burning soda and sugar look like lava during a volcano eruption. The lava is gradually changing its shape. It's different every moment. Could you imagine that soda and sugar could transform into such an incredible monster? Are you impressed? We are, but keep in mind the materials are flammable. Use caution when working with them. Better try the experiment outdoors away from dry grass. We'll continue playing with fire. Make a burning heart and phrase. Take a wood board wrapped in foil and hand sanitizer. Pour it on the foil. Try to make an image or a phrase. Light the heart. The sanitizer contains alcohol. That's why the heart starts burning. The blazing phrase is very impressive. Have you seen a flame held in someone's hands? We've tried to repeat the trick. It's actually possible, but just for one or two seconds, not more. If you hold it any longer, you risk getting burnt. We don't recommend performing it alone, and don't do it inside, either. Can you light a candle with smoke? Do you think it's impossible? It isn't, though you'll have to make a number of attempts. Blow out the candle and light the wispy trail of smoke. Once again, we've managed after a few vain attempts. The explanation is easy. The flame of a lit wick vaporizes the candle wax surrounding it, giving off heat and light. When we blow out a candle, the smoke from the smoldering wick still has some wax in it and this wax hasn't been fully burned. If you light this smoky trail quickly enough after blowing out the candle, the wisps will reignite and carry the reignition down to the wick. And the candle is aflame again. What is it? A burning dollar? How much money should we have to use to make such a foolish experiment? Oh, what's happened? Is it safe? How is it possible? Take rubbing alcohol and water in equal proportions. Submerge any paper money in the solution. Soak it well. Take out with tweezers and let it drain. Ignite it. The flame engulfs the note in a moment. It's a great trick. The money is kept safe and secure. The flame we can see is burning alcohol. That's why it flared up and went out quickly as soon as the alcohol burns off. The water covering the note secures it from the flame. The experiment is exciting, but dangerous. 
Another incredible experiment is one of the most amazing. Just imagine a gorgon head with crawling snakes on it. Ugh! Take a fuel tablet. Place four pills of calcium gluconate on it. You can buy it in a drugstore. Ignite the fuel. Watch the chemical enormously turning in growing foam. It bends and curves like a tangle of snakes. It's quite thrilling. It looks like a snake monster crawling around. The experiment is entertaining, but we don't recommend doing it inside. It's hazardous to breathe in the chemical vapors that the smoke contains. And there's also the danger to light the dry grass outside. If you are under 16, perform the experiment under adult supervision. The invisible ink message is one of the safest tricks in our list. We'll need paper, milk, and a brush. Dip the brush in the milk and write down a message you want to conceal from others. Let only the recipient see it. Heat the paper when dry. You can use a candle or put it in the oven or cover it with a cloth and iron. The message is revealed. You can read it now. It's not hazardous. Just be careful when using a candle to heat the paper. How to change an arrow's direction using a plain glass. Draw an arrow. Ask your friend. She doesn't seem to know what to do. We'll have to help her. Place the glass in front of the arrow and pour in water. Wow! The arrow's changed its direction. You can entertain your friends with this amazing visual illusion. It's so easy to make. I bet I can pull a banknote from under coins, keeping them on the bottle. Place a banknote on a bottle neck. Put a couple of coins on top. Try to remove the note, keeping the coins in place. Ha! I did it! No, it's against the rule. Use only one finger. The key factor is to dip your finger in water and flick the note. It'll stick to your finger and move fast enough to let the coins remain on the bottle. Is there any law of how a matchbox should drop down? No, there isn't, as far as we know. Let's try to put it upright. Shift the inner part. The trick is super simple. You can perform it whenever you want. What to do if there's no matchbox, only an empty bottle of cola? Use it for a trick. Toss a folded top inside. Place it on the neck and blow up. In spite of your expectations, the top drops outside, not inside. The fluffy soap we're going to make now is big and soft like a colored cloud bouncing in your hands. We'll need shaving foam. The more foam you use, the bigger the soap will be. We'd like it big. Just keep in mind that your flubber soap will depend on the kind of shaving foam you use. We've achieved the best results with Gillette products. Add one and one third ounces of white glue. Two to three tablespoons of the transparent shower gel. Add acrylic paint. You can use gouache or food coloring instead. Mix until smooth. Mmm, it's a magical color. It looks like whipped cream. Add some boric acid solution. It's thickening up. Okay, it's time to knead it with your hands. Wow, it's incredible. It's like playing with a cloud. This flubber soap seems to be a nice stress reliever. In case it's too sticky, just add a little more glue. Another method is to add a bit of borax at the end of kneading, not earlier. Otherwise, it won't work. When it no longer sticks to your hands, you can wash them with this fluffy soap. It's so big and soft and like whipped cream. You can play with it bouncing it like a huge ball. Besides, it can stretch very thinly without breaking apart. But we've digressed a little from the original point. Let's see what foam it can produce. Wonderful! The squishy soap cleans hands perfectly. Make a nice wrapping and gift it to your friend. Give your thumbs up and we'll continue making videos like this. Be sure to subscribe to Trim Trim and don't forget to hit the bell and it'll ring you up when the new video appears.